Oh, I thought the Info Quest Center was just great. I think anyone can uh, learn something here and have a good time. This is very different, futuristic, uh, surprising. Definitely a, a good place to bring clients. Really a lot of fun for everyone. Hello, my name is Gordon. As you can see, I'm a robot. I'm one of the exhibits at the AT&T InfoQuest Center in New York. Let me give you a brief tour of the InfoQuest Center, a taste of what has these people so amazed and pleased. The purpose of the center is to educate people about the technologies of our information age. We also relate those technologies to our visitors' everyday lives. And we do it in a style that is both friendly and entertaining to young people and grown-ups. In the microelectronics area, they learn how microchips work. Welcome to Explore a Microchip. We're going to fly down to the surface of the mighty microchip to find out what the different parts do. Set our course by touching one of the sections you want to see. Arithmetic logic unit, programmed logic array, data bus, read-only memory, or the clock. They are taken through the process of making a microchip. Listen, making these microchips is no piece of cake. These things are small, and they have thousands of parts. And you're going to use chemistry, physics, electronics, and even a process like photography to get it done. So keep your ears open and listen to my instructions. A comparison is made between a 1940s giant computer and the tiny chip of today. And believe it or not, that tiny chip does more computer stuff than that giant computer that's on the wall. This chip uses tiny microcircuits instead of tubes and does millions of calculations a second and does it a lot better than that giant computer. In the light wave communications area, visitors actually use a replica of Mr. Bell's 1880 light wave telephone. Sample video teleconferencing over a fiber optic network. Learn about undersea cables made of light guides and see their name changed from Morse code into digital code. By touching the screens, visitors participate in the processes by which light guides are made and spliced. Nice going. The preform you made is being heated up again and drawn or stretched out into a light guide fiber thinner than a hair on your head and 15 miles long. You did very well. With a little practice, you could be a real pro. See you again, pal. They also learn what light guides do and how well they do it. You can transmit computer data, numbers, music, words. You can send all kinds of information over light guides, but you can't send your mother-in-law or your economics teacher. <laughs> Sorry about that. The auditorium presentation, entitled Our Information Age, relates the technologies of the InfoQuest Center to the everyday lives of the audience. This elaborate video production uses a matrix of 32 screens and 32 video projectors coordinated by a computer. This technique has never been seen before in this country. Visitors meet me, Gordon, in the area devoted to computer software. Following my brilliant introduction to software, they then explore a number of software applications. They watch a computer scramble an image of their faces, and then they try to reassemble it. Viewers watch a robot arm operate. They meet six outstanding scientists from AT&T Bell Laboratories. The research which led to the Nobel Prize was actually a study of our galaxy, the Milky Way. We found that the radiation we got was much more than could be possibly be accounted for by our galaxy and was in fact coming from beyond. Visitors even get a chance to direct their own music videos.
visitors are given a tour of New York City and many of its attractions by two zany taxi drivers. Hey there, pal. So you want to see some of the city, do you? Well, you come to the right spot. My partner and I here, we own and operate this vehicle, which happens to be the snazziest hack in town. Yeah, between the two of us, we know all the hottest and the coolest spots in New York City. My favorite one, the video, yeah. making my own. Well, the scramble of the face was terrific, but it wasn't any good. <laughs> all of the things that I saw are excellent selling tools. I liked it. Whether you're young or you're uh, old, you'll love it. I thought the InfoQuest Center was really terrific. When you're in New York City, why not come by and meet me in person? In the metal, so to speak. I promise you an experience both enlightening and enjoyable for you and your entire family. Come and meet the future. It's waiting for you here at the AT&T InfoQuest Center.